I was not Grand Finals. The final set of Xeno 351 and Xeno overall. Zamba versus Syrup. We saw we see a repeat of what Zamba likes to do against these Steve is just pretty much just annihilation center. But Syrup might have a different answer because last time it was E Dog. Now, after that set on the winner's side, yes. uh, we saw Zamba win in a rather speedy fashion. Now, Aussie presented an uh, inquiry to Zamba if he could do it faster. Oh, of course I did. Uh, okay. I asked him. Zamba. I, I asked him to do it slower. I was like, oh, I was like, Zamba, it is 12.30 in the morning at that time. Can you please be faster? He's like, well, I thought they were a little faster that time, but I can do it again. That's so, okay, not great. what Zamba sounds like. That's exactly what he sounds like. <laughs> in my head, that's what he sounds like. That's exactly what he sounds like. If anything, that was two years ago. <laughs> that's wild. That's what Zamba sounds like. <laughs> How old was Zamba for Xeno 1? Uh, was he on this earth? He was yes. nine. That's it crazy. was nine years ago. So he didn't. So, he wasn't on so this Zamba earth. didn't win Xeno 1. No. Oh, His ass wasn't no. even walking. <laughs> that, was, that was Xeno T.O. to kill Sage. Oh, yeah, the kill stage Taking one, Taking it Zeno over Xeno T.O. Dill. That was... H-O-3-K rigged? Since day one? <laughs> FNY? This fucking script. <laughs> LNY, do the bro. kids these, do these LNY, days know about know FNY? Lore. I do. Okay, good. <laughs> I, do. I do. The soft I do. <laughs> I had the brace so as I These vibes are eternal. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. All right, so Zamba, you know... Could die to this potential uh, next follow up, right? We got uh, access to a back air from that pickaxe. is very strong, especially with the diamond setup. Can easily destroy you from middle of the screen at 174. But we're still just getting like, these very light hits, and Zombas living the dream oh, until just now. Oh, about that hit, Austin. <laughs> yeah, the get point blank from a minecart, you're saying bye bye. I used yeah, to yeah. that shit right into Zomba, and now Zomba, I mean, pretty even around here, at least for Zomba coming in with a fresh new stock syrup, having to eat that 72 percentage now. Not too shabby at the very least. WC not super heavy, but can at least hold his own when it comes to uh, surviving a lot of death hits. Ooh, we got some clanks going on. Obviously, you gotta go for the mash right afterwards. Uh -oh. Good recognition from Zamba, recognizing to go for that jab Ooh, setup. Just trying that. to get something out. That yeah, Rob jab on Steve on the corner is kind of diabolical. Because you know Steve's pressing a button. We all know Steve's pressing a button. Might as well clank with it, make it safe. Although Jaro can be blocking out Syrup's approach here. Even, though, even the minecart can be completely uh, negated by that spot dodge, allowing Zamba to not fall into the tracks of Syrup's traps here. However, able to get that fishing rock and be throwing Steve back over Steve. Syrup back over uh, Zamba back over to the other side of the stage. Gets a down smash, but the wall does have a save Syrup uh, for a second there. Another back here is going to create you some room. I love that Zamba's just kind of cool. mixing it up on how you're going to land. Going to catch him with the Nair this time around. Syrup looking Ooh. very destructive, but he was able to tech on that block to survive for another day. Tons of scary spot dodges coming out. We're just going to keep going for Nairs. Eventually, if you get high enough percent, that Nair will net you a kill. How about Ooh. the Bear? Bear's doing it just fine. As an edge guard tool? Absolutely. I think one thing that really needs to be appreciated about how Zamba approaches this matchup is that he just consistently looks like he's ready for whatever shenanigans are presented to him. Whether he has to make a super high recovery, whether he needs to try to DI some random hit from center stage, whether he suddenly has top and he's in a really good position, he's got seconds to react. He's making it work, and he's doing so very consistently. Oh, and I love that he actually utilized those walls that Syrup built against Syrup in that moment. Kind of forced Syrup into, the, honestly, into a situation where you can't get out of these jobs. You gotta eat this 42, not 52 percent for free. Now, Bazamba at 106 percent, kind of in a deficit by about 50 percent. No way. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. You see, I see nice things, and then Zamba almost died. Yeah, but no, there was a really good DI there. We even saw the, uh, the air dodge. Oh, that no. DI, though. Ooh. Zamba's still living the dream here for a second. He needs to find a way to get out of the ground because right now Syrup is controlling the real estate. Just like that man that just buys up all the buildings here in the center of PS2 Wait. is not going to be able to get on this neighborhood though. Has another NATO on top of him looking for the next follow up. Fair back here. It's not looking good for Mr. Monopoly. Uh oh. Imagine you put a little monocle on him. <laughs> he probably owns a monocle. Zamba. No, give 200. Pass go. Needs one more game win to close out the final Xeno. Looking very likely in Zomba's favor. Granted, Syrup put up one hell of a fight, especially against the likes of D-Dog that we saw earlier. That yes. was a very quick three stock. Forced him off of Steve, too. But oh, as no Zomba does, here. we got the forward air. Gonna be able to bounce off the bottom of the stage. We're gonna stick with the Steve, I'm sorry, the Alex. And we're gonna jump back here onto Pokemon Stadium 2. It's the one home away from home. Yeah. 
And honestly, it's a good pick if Syrup has any say in the matter. I mean, it gives you lots of steel on this stage, right? Or iron. And iron just keeps building up. It's one of the most valuable blocks. It's why whenever you see Steve building blocks in this stage in particular, you'll see wood at the start because you start with wood. Yep. After, after all the wood's gone, it's just it's just iron. It's just it's just constant iron, which are way sturdier blocks. Way sturdier. You have the ability to have that minecart and that anvil, which Syrup is so good at finding ways to kind of trap you in those uh, two resources, no matter what you're trying to kind of get out of. Zamba, however, finding the double berry here and actually yeah. able to find the up air after the up tilt. That's a beautiful start for Zamba in a possible uh, match point and, and win on the last Xeno. I'm like befuddled with how he DI'd that. You'd think with all the times you gotta deal with this guy doing that to you. Oh, oh good man on. on the spot nice. dodge. Gonna give you that Rotar arm to help you out. Throwing it over some Z drops. Yeah, it becomes tough when you get to, stuck in this twister, right? Trying to do it for yet another upper. When Zamba starts feeling himself and starts controlling this, dominating the stage, this allows Sir from <gasps> game being able to get out of this disadvantage state, right? Rip the shield, and then all of a sudden, gonna go for the back here, the first one that we saw in this game from Zamba. Now, one stock away from closing it out. It's like you had kind of brought it back into existence, recalling that three stock that Zamba had on D Dog in that second game they had together. Now it's kind of coming to fruition, albeit with Syrup over D-Dog. Even then, the Magma Block up smash not going to be quite enough on that ceiling or at the percentage needed to kill Zamba and take away this first, this literally just his first stock two minutes in. Yeah, he's big chilling. It, it, it really is a masterclass on just like the space control because even when Zamba's getting hit, he doesn't look like he's that bothered. That was almost the that end of the really tournament. Was. Yeah, yeah. It, it really almost just like, what is that? The second we saw that forward air starting to climb up, right, you can easily just see him trying to carry Syrup off to the stage. Wanted to get the spot dodge read in to cap close it all with a downer, but he was able to catch that ledge just in time to give him some invincibility. But hold on a second, this up tilt might be able to be the end of it. We caught, lost a double jump, regains it by putting down a block real quick. Minecart gonna give yourself some breathing room, and all of a sudden the combo's coming up from Syrup, putting Zombo in a really bad spot, waiting for an air dodge. That back air was like that out for so long! And it didn't hit Syrup! It hit the stupid <laughs> backyard! And that allows Syrup... Oh, does it allow it? Do we allow the recovery? We do on that Lytra. Now we allow Syrup to kind of finagle right back to center stage. Uh, Zama going to be for pushing forward that forward air. And now Syrup pushes right back forward. Zama has back off stage, forces a high recovery, comes right back down, uh, interrupting Syrup on his mining. And now beautiful pair on that gyro. What's Syrup going to do now with double gyro? Oh, wait, this, this could be big. This, this could be it. Mm, if it had to be on the top platform, had to be on the top platform. So now we're seeing Syrup here, 166 damage, just one swing from Zamba to shut this momentum down. Right forward air, putting you right back off stage, going for the high recovery to avoid the laser back air. We're still All in a right. fight here. Oh, Syrup's we got a game. Up a fight. We got a game here. Come Max on. Rage, Diamond Tools, plenty of space control. All the momentum in Syrup's oh favor. God. There is a ton of opportunity here for Syrup to bring us right on into game three. And you saw just those diamond up tilts were able to bring Zamba from 0 to 50 in a matter of seconds. Zamba has to be super careful who you tech onto a platform, Syrup catches you lacking a little bit. Then there, not going to be enough quite yet, just like last time. Now what do we do? We go for the back throw. 210 damage. Zamba just needs one forward. He is the one that gets sent flying all of a sudden. Oh, 94 no. damage. Trying to go for the recovery. Ops to find a way back down. Throwing out some nares back and forth. We just need small hits at this point to be able to shut this down. Sir, trying to fight for his life to just stay alive for as long as possible. In oh, those I love the we're forward swinging. Oh my God. We're, we're, we're just swinging. We're going for fourth plus enough on block. You got all that spacing. You've got a world to win with it. You might as well. And but that's going to be it. The forward air coming out from Zamba to close it out. The final Xeno champion, Xeno 351, of course, it's the Zombert. Zamba coming up to shut out everything <laughs> down. And wow. What, I mean, even though it was still a 2-0 for Zamba, that both games were pretty the close. The tension climbed so mm -hmm. quickly in those final strikes. Sir did such a good job of holding on to that stock. And I think that in that in that last excursion, I, I feel like when uh, you know we were talking about that forest match, it's plus on block. You keep spamming, keep spamming it. What's I'm gonna do? Run into it. You're big. What are you gonna do? You're gonna die. <laughs> but then Syrup made the mistake of going for up smash. Extremely laggy move. You are in so many recovery frames after you whiff magma block up smash that Zombo saw the opportunity and said, "You messed up. I win here." You see it right now. Well, not right now. Next, in the next um, clip, you'll see it right there. Goes for the forest match, goes for the forest match. 
The first mission was so smart too, but look how long he's, he's staying just been there. chilling. This was the beginning of the end. Yep. You're just you're put into that hot zone of Rob drops down and every aerial is something you have to worry about. We used to call it the the Martha Lucina attack where you just run off forward air or even Shulk for instance. Could, a lot of characters yeah. can just Anyone run that's got air. that swipe? Yeah, anyone's got a sword. Kill. So like Rob has a sword obviously with those arms. So <laughs> it's built in. able to reach it out. But guys, that's it. Zeno's done. It yeah. feels kind of weird, right? Like I it's, feel it's like just over. I don't know. Zeno 351, the final finale coming up. Um, Devin, do you do we want to do like an interview with Zomba? Are we uh, trying to get out of here? I'll ask. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay if he doesn't. <laughs> like, it's pretty late. Like. <laughs> it is. It is 116. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. Maybe we just shut it down, Devin. You got any last words, man? He's, He's got a thinking about face on. He's got that thinking face. Do I want? Oh, does he actually want one? Is that my as well? That yeah. That shrug is usually a yes for him. Right, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I yes. know what he says. Right, that that I might as well. Bad. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. Um, do you want us to throw this a break real quick? No, maybe? no, we, we just can just do free ball awesome and sure. swap. Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, if you guys have any last words you have for for Zeno, so I mean, you, you can do that after the interview, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, any you guys want to do the honors of the interview? Uh, I feel like it's only right that you do it. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. mind. I can do it. Yeah. I'll get my headset. <laughs> there he is with the Kirby too, the Kerbo. It's the Kerbo. Oh, top of that. It's very adorable. Big fan of that. Have yourself, have yourself a plop. There you go, man. That's the winner's chair. He yawns. We're here with <laughs> the last Xeno ever uh, champion. Xeno 351. No one saw it coming. Yeah. Zamba came in and took it all. It was so close every single time. Zamba, how are you feeling being the champion of Xeno? I mean, when you're the best player in Tri-State. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Every tournament you go into at a Tri-State event, even just in general, because, you know, we're the best region, um, you always know that That's you're going to win. There's true. a reason. Zeno has this tradition of always having the person that won the last Zeno being the first seed. But they knew for this tournament, this is the last one. Everything's on the line. They're being for real this tournament. And there's a reason why <laughs> I was the first seed. There's a reason why I'm the victor. I'm going to send this kid to his room. <laughs> We were, just, we were just talking about how old you were during Xeno 1. What was your first Xeno? Uh, it was the Xeno Arcadian in oh June 16th, 2018. Wow. Uh, that's insane. Like, just so, <laughs> such a long... That's crazy. Long career of Xenos out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah anything, anything to reflect on with Xeno now that it's like the stream series is going to be gone? There's been a lot of players, good players that have come and gone. A lot of players that, you know, they stayed around. They've been fierce opponents. Some, not really, to be honest. <laughs> but all in all, I still love everybody the same. It's actually, honestly, hearing the news that we heard earlier about how Xeno's like switching it up to like, you know, new venue, a new day, or a new day of the week. Like, I'm excited for the future. Yeah, That's I am I as say. dude. I am as well. Just the waypoint, especially because it's like it's gonna be the same area. You still have to get off the same subway station <laughs> yeah. to get to the tournament. So that's yeah, also gonna be like same a commute for Long Island. We still uh, gotta yeah. take a easy call the driver train. Um, we get to spec out a new venue with like all the experience we have now. Like we did, I th you know, all things considered, with like the current venue, like how we spec'd out Zeno, we did. Like, it was pretty cool, but like I'm excited to see like what kind of sick tech we can like set up. <laughs> Devin's always on that tech grind, bro. Yeah. So Zamba, we're not gonna hold you for long. So That's one, cool. one last question. Um, if you, if Rob was not in the game, yeah, who would you play? Well, I started off the game as a Roy and Link player, but I feel like, well, <laughs> Link's the sh Link's pretty dookie to put things. You can uh, say you shit. You can say I can say shit on stream. Yeah, say it. Oh You're my allowed. god, I was, I was looking so scared. Shit if you want. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Say whatever you want, bro. Yeah, so Link is fucking shit. Yeah. Talk to him. <laughs> Roy, wow, he's he's a generational character. I just felt like he didn't really match me as a player. And I feel like over the game's like lifespan, I've I've had my secondaries here and there do like mm. some my Lucina beat Meister, my no practice Lucina beat Meister. That's true. Um I've played just random secondaries <laughs> at tournaments like you know, we have Daryl who got third place. Mm. I beat him with like low key the whole cast. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I feel like if I had to, if there was no Rob and I was forced on one character, it probably would have been one of the broken characters. Like, I don't know, something fundamental, but still like 
pretty brain dead, like ages. Or, or if I was like still bad, I would have just played Steve. True. Yeah, nice. talk your talk. And it, I just, I thought of another question. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, no, I, I keep on. What is this guy uh, doing an interview? Are you the the next Smash game when yeah. it inevitably comes out? Because it's gonna come out. Yeah, we, just don't know, we don't know if it's gonna be a port. We don't know if it's gonna be a new game. Regardless, are you planning to take that? the same series as this one or like with the level of talent that I have as a player it would be super <laughs> troll for me not to play the next match game <laughs> but yeah. if it was super yeah. troll wouldn't that also be right up your alley yeah but like <laughs> you already here first folks but yeah, yeah but like, like I got it yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool well thanks so much Zamba congratulations again for winning the Xeno sure obviously <laughs> always a pleasure having you around well hopefully we'll see you at the waypoints and everything else you got some there is one thing I want to say so I come from Staten Island yeah. Everybody talks shit about Staten that's Island. True. That's true. Whether it be as a borough, which, okay, you got it. <laughs> you got it. You got it. That's, all, that's all it is. You got it. That's all. That's the only issue. But us as a skillful region, yeah. we almost had a Staten Island Grand Finals. If anything, that's fine. I feel like you're robbed of a Staten Island Grand Finals. <laughs> But all in all, but you're the Rob. You gotta bring that up with zero thumb. <laughs> oh my so. god, you robbed with Rob. <laughs> Shut <crazy>. up, Devin. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, just know, I'm the best player that Tri-State has ever seen. I farm literally everybody almost all the time, and I appreciate everyone for watching me. Cause you know what? That's all you guys can do. <laughs> talk it, talk, get out of here, dude. I'm so sick of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Mont Neva, uh, let's get, get back in there. <laughs> Alright. Get back in Bring there. Bring Mont back in. Oh we got some closing oh words of our god. own. <laughs> I told you that's what he sounds like. <laughs> he, <laughs> did. he did. It Literally, I told you that's what he sounds we, like. We heard an impersonation of you earlier. Yeah. And I, I said it sounded, it sounded nothing like you. But... You know, it's up to interpretation, I guess, <laughs> of people are listening back at home. But guys, we've had many a fail safe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the interview's over. Get out of here, Zombie. Bye. Uh, Congratulations. The music's playing. That is that's the staff roll. The, the voices of Zeno. We've spoken about this game countless hours, countless times, countless sets. But do we have any closing words of our own? Um, you brought us in for the first. What do you have to say for our last? I, That's depressing. No, it's not. I think I, I like to look at things on like uh, what's in the future, right? Of because Xeno may be dead, but HO3K is still going to be around, and we still got tournaments coming up. Obviously, Waypoint coming up late August. I think this is going to be we one door shuts and another one opens, and I think that's what's going to be happening here. So Xeno's still going to be around. It just won't be called Xeno anymore. It's going to be underneath a new name. You know, it's like we're evolving wholeheartedly agree. I feel like it's just the closing of a chapter. Mm -hmm. New York has had such a bountiful history under the Xeno banner, but we have plenty more ahead of us. Well, um, with that, you know, I got. I do want to say something personal for me is that I wouldn't be where I am in my life or career without Xeno, without Smash Bros, the Tri-State, New York City scene, everything in general. I was able to pursue a dream that I never thought possible uh, within the last like five years or so. I decided to make commentary full time at one point, and now it's a very heavy part time job with something else on the side. But like before, it was like I never would have thought to like pursue this as a career if it wasn't for Zeno to help push me in and give me a platform to um, raise up my skill level and everything. Because I I was not a good caster back then. Uh, Devin can testify, right, Devin? I I <laughs> talked so much shit. Yeah. To your face. To my face. And, and <laughs> to I be fair. I, yeah. I took it constructively, you know, yes. and, I, and I, I improved, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I'm nothing but constructive. Yeah, yeah but um, but be, you, you gave me a home to be able to lend my voice and show that this is something that I truly care about, and I care about the Smash scene. You know, I don't show up as much anymore. I still am always tuning in every now and then, lurking in the streams, seeing what's going on with everything. And it's just kind of been a surreal experience. My life to win in a completely different direction because of this tournament series. And Zeno, and I'm not the only one that Zeno has had such a gigantic impact on. I know everyone, every single person here that has it's entered true. this tournament series, Absolutely. it has impacted them in some positive way, whether you made lifelong friends, whether you made homies, whether you made some money because you, you were good enough on the game, you know? There's just so much that this series has brought to us. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I guess I just wanted to get that off my, sorry, that came out of nowhere. I just. 
No, please. It, it I mean, just, you've been just, here just, since the beginning. Yeah, like 2016. And it's crazy that like I can absolutely relate. You know, like I mm -hmm. came in here like, a little mutt and did nothing about commentary. New boss match very casually. I was bad at the game. I'll, I'm one of those commentators that was like, well, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the game instead. And Devin was, ex Devin, pipeline. Dill, everybody, it's a very real pipeline, <laughs> where they were so open. I was there for a month, month and a half, and they were like, you want to come? I'm like, can I comment They said, yeah, of course. They are so open to anyone, you know, taking up seats in the back instead of being the player. And they are, especially Devin was just so welcoming and very in <laughs> Oh, critic <laughs> but a, good, a great <laughs> critic and i don't know like it i'd never imagined three years later or two years later how long i've been here um <laughs> that i would one still be at xeno and also pursuing other commentary games and opportunities and you know and even then in the past year i was i was here every week during my senior year and then just senior year happened and i became a senior and i graduated but otherwise I was everyone's. I'm on every single per. Every single player in this venue has my voice on their body, <laughs> like all throughout 2022 and 2023. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Apology sorry. Apology accepted. All right. <laughs> but <laughs> just thank you, thank you to House. Like a humongous thank you to House, um, to everybody, to all my co-casters, to everybody, absolutely everybody. Um, hey man, you got any last words? No. Okay. Oh damn. <laughs> Just, I think just following the same sentiment of just giving a thank you to the house team and especially to Devin for giving us microphones and a place to call home for getting better and more comfortable with being in front of the camera, finding a voice of our own, like if not for Raptor and Mr. E especially telling me to join them for the weekly pilgrimage out to the city where just everyone's better. You just have the opportunity to be better and just go ahead and go try to be better than them. And so... I wanted to, and I came out every week with them, every week that I could, every Saturday that I could. If I knew they were traveling to produce for an event, I would be at that event. And I think that really gave me the bug to want to be more and more involved with esports, more and more involved with production, and also just want to travel more. Yeah. And I cannot see my life without those being passions of mine now. And I don't even know what I would be like without what I've learned from the past seven or eight years of being involved with Xeno. So it's definitely got a special place in my heart. And even if it's not called Xeno anymore, whatever is the next spot that house calls home, I will be looking forward to visiting. Well, guys, it's 1.30 in the morning. I think it's 4th <laughs> of July. I think it's time we uh, close it out. So thank you so much for tuning into all every single Xeno that we've ever done for the past nine years. Xenos, weeklies, sagas, the whole shebang. This is not goodbye. This is see you next time. Good night from New York.